So is Pearly Things Pearl Davis a Christian? She claims to be Catholic. So there's some things that she said in her marriage debate with Michael Knowles that was kind of problematic that I'd love to talk about. So anyway, um, Michael Knowles and Pearl Davis had a conversation about marriage and I've, you know, done a live stream basically talking about that subject. You guys can go check that out. And I wrote an article about it. You guys can go read that at blackteenews.com. But um, I, I, she kept saying things like she didn't want to tell men what they should do or ought to do. And um, she seemed to take a f- offense at Michael alleging or saying that he knew that what they should do or suggest what they should do. And at times even um, said, accused him of trying to play God. So are women responsible for their sin or they're not responsible? I think culpability for sin is contingent on knowledge and uh, free consent, okay. uh, which are uh, de- depend upon to a large degree Uh, how one is educated. And the question of education is very important here because Mm -hmm. the begetting and education of children is the primary purpose of marriage, which is a natural institution. And so it seems to me that the idea that you are furthering and advocating, which cuts against the practice of marriage today, uh, unravels all of these things. It doesn't cut against the practice of marriage. I advocate that the laws should change. Right, and until the laws change. Men have to decide for themselves. I think you're skirting the issue. I, I think that men are tired of being told what to do by women. So I think every man has to decide. Do you, do you, not disagree, do you disagree that every man should decide for himself what makes sense in his life? I do. I think men ought to do what's right. Okay. And you know what's right. I hope I do. I hope I've cultivated my faculties of reason and moral conscience to such a degree that uh, they can uh, correspond with God's grace and basically lead me right. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it almost sounds like you're playing God. No, but I hope that I'm cooperating with God. And I'm a rational creature made in the image and likeness of God. Okay. And, and that, that fact is borne out in my reason, which is what we're supposedly here okay. to do. And the fact, Pearl, that you mm-hmm. keep uh, backing away from using our reason to come to certain judgments about how men ought to behave and about good and bad and right and wrong mm-hmm. seems to me a, a denial of, the, of what is basically the premise of any conversation, mm-hmm. which is that we can know something about reality and come to conclusions about it. And I think you do come to those conclusions, but, I, but then you evade the responsibility for it that, by saying, I, I just tell that, men to do what no, they No, I think that facts don't care about your religion. So I, I think facts is, don't care about the way you feel about them. What do you I think, think a fact I think, is? I think that, <laughs> what do you think a fact is? That women are paid to leave marriages. That's just a fact. Oh, oh, I yeah, think yeah, yeah, facts Yeah, and so... You know, okay. I mean, that, that's, just, that's just a fact. And the way you feel about it doesn't change the way it is. Actually, the way that I feel, mm-hmm. which I hope, I like to think I've arrived at that through reason, so I think it's tethered to something, you know, okay. real, uh, does affect the way that I behave. And the way that I behave does, to some degree, affect the social circumstances in which we all live. Mm-hmm. So in a way, actually, uh, you know, a friend of mine says facts don't care about your feelings. But politics largely cares about your feelings, and your Mm -hmm. feelings are cultivated through virtuous and vicious habits. Mm -hmm. And being selfish and sleeping around and not getting married and not having kids is vicious. And getting married is very virtuous. I don't say that men should sleep around. But you say they shouldn't get married if you were to give advice, which you don't. I say that men should be extremely cautious when getting married. I say they should vet women heavily and if there are not enough wives, that might not be the way that they end up going. So what should they do then? It's so interesting. You got, it's always ba- it always goes back to that, like me telling them what to do. Every guy's got to decide for himself. Uh, in Pearl World, which we were, we were living oh, in, in Pearl, Pearl World, World earlier, then what, what would men do if they begged you for advice? <laughs> I would say go, go, talk to, go talk to... A preacher, <laughs> your pastor, a preacher. <laughs> I thought facts don't care about your religion. <sighs> or, or your father. Or, look, I just don't, again, I'm not in the business of telling men what to do. And that's You've just not, that. you know. But I think you kind of are. Now, what's interesting here is that Pearl has so many things to say about women <laughs> and, and will tell women what to do, what they should do, will criticize them all day long. Um, but some things that were very interesting 
is that um, she seems to have no appreciation for redemption. And that's really troubling to me, especially for women. So they had conversations about people who, you know, turn away from OnlyFans. And um, she, she didn't seem to think that men should be with those women at all. And Michael said it's not ideal, you know. Redemption is an important part, you know, of the whole Christianity thing. Um, but it reminded me of a, of a video that she did before, and I reacted to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that clip of me reacting to this video that she did some time ago about the church and women in the church. Figure out like what was off putting to me, but I'm just like, I smell bullshit, right? There's some things and I just like, I hear and I just smell and hear nonsense. And I would go to church and like certain things would just rub me the wrong way, but I didn't know what, and I couldn't explain why until I read the rational males book on religion now right now you know he's been tweeting about me some not so nice things don't really appreciate that but i can't i can't help what the men are tweeting you know what i mean i can't i cannot stop the tweets so but outside of that he's he's a genius he's a very smart man and he talked about how like church is basically they're not patriarchies and a lot of them are indoctrinating us into like liberal ideas. So for example, now we see the gay flags in church. We see the ex porn star pastor wives. And like some things are just kind of like nice and down for women. And I remember like in high school, we would have these chastity speakers and it would always be like the girl that got ran through and then she would get married after. And I don't think that's a good message, right? That like you can do whatever you want. And as long as you pray and say sorry, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I think that the message should be as a woman, if you sleep with too many people, you're ruined. You ruined yourself or your future husband. And there probably isn't a light at the end of the tunnel. And the guy that you're going to get is significantly of lower quality than the guy you would have gotten. But as far as this idea that women can be ran through and then um, find what salvation, as we call it, <laughs> find Jesus and um, get their lives in order and, and perhaps meet a man who would love her and appreciate the transformation that Christ has had in her life and become a new creature, you know, um, you know, her cherry's not going to get popped into place, but <laughs> you know, um, we, we do believe in this thing called redemption. So <laughs> I don't, and, and this conversation that she's having will seem silly, especially as I don't know we continue going on, but I've, I've heard her say this before and I've, I've responded to this before, this idea about women being ran through or, or, or that kind of ideology. But now I, I do um, think that we should, um, there's so many people who detest like purity culture is like a, a term, I guess people have been using for a while. I've just heard it like the past couple of years, but we definitely did encourage people to save themselves until marriage is, you know, uh, as the, as the Bible um, does <laughs> promote. And um, I, I think it is important just not even from a biblical standpoint to yes, like, give the warnings of what can happen to you emotionally, psychologically, physically, you know, or, or um, how, how men really don't want, you know, women who have a really high body count. I think it's that that's a rational way to, to talk to people about life and their expectations. However, however, um, salvation isn't something that you earn. It's she's, she's no <laughs> better than, than I any more worthy to receive it than I am. And neither is that woman who's been ran through. It's just a matter of, do you accept Christ as your personal Lord and savior? And are you willing to deny yourself and follow after him? So it's not about where you've been. It's about who you are and where you're going. <laughs> so, um, having this idea, like, no, you, there is no light at the end of the tunnel. If, if the light at the end of your tunnel, isn't Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> what, do, what do you mean there's no light at the end of the tunnel? <laughs> like there literally there literally is. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? So um 
this, this whole harshness from Pearl, it's, it's really antithetical to the gospel. You know, I, I understand Pearl's opinion that there needs to be some kind of consequence. I think you should tell people that um, your life could be dramatically impacted in a very negative way if you go out there and let the world use you, chew you up and spit you out. Um, but it still attests to the goodness in, of God you know, when it gets to that point where you're like the prodigal son, you go out, do your own thing, blow your inheritance, and you're at the lowest of lows, and you come back just to serve, you know, so you can just eat or whatever <laughs> and live. And your father is waiting for you with open arms to treat you as if you had never really gone anywhere in the first place. You know, that's the gospel. And we should rejoice when people come into the back into the family and this idea that people have to be permanently uh damaged and just be damaged goods and it's it's wrong that someone can testify to the goodness of god that i did all these things that were wrong but god saved me and by the way you should do things the right way i would and people people who've messed up will say you know don't mess up like i did um, but still have a problem with folks who God redeemed. That's, that's really the wrong way to look at, um, life. And, you know, Pearl did say she wants to get married one day. She's not a virgin, you know? Um, but I think that she thinks that she's not damaged goods and, um, you know, hopefully the right sort of mentality will, a line one day and she'll she'll get it together but um to me her whole shtick is selling victimhood to men and women being the enemies and i understand that um she feels like she could talk about women more because she said things like no one holds women accountable people hold men accountable all the time but women aren't held accountable um but you still uh need to have balance when when you're gonna say such harsh things about women but you don't even want to tell men what they should do and you take offense when people tell men what they should do what they ought to do um that's not good that's not <laughs> that's not good at all um we should be um uplifting morality and encouraging people to do the right thing so anyway um especially if you're a christian to me her mentioning that she was Catholic because, because, uh, Michael would say things that were extremely Catholic and she, you know, would have not take issue with it. To me, it kind of seemed like it was mentioned in the conversation to stop him from kind of being the, the authoritative person on the subject. Um, but he was, he was, um, and, and, uh, hopefully you are a Christian and you believe in the redemptive power of the gospel. So anyway, interesting uh conversations there and uh, just some things to think about i know a lot of people follow pearl but i'm not saying you can't i just i just think um and you can follow people for particular reasons i just want people to understand what they're getting out of certain folks so <laughs> i just wanted to put that out there thank you for watching my video make sure you go to blackteenews.com and check out different articles different videos and also check out our merchandise if you like what i do you can also support the website on the donate page make sure you hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell god bless